Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Dragon Chain console. Let's start off by claiming a wallet. To do so, we'll click the account button in the sidebar, and once we reach the account page, click the add Ethereum wallet button. Next, we will enter the Ethereum address of the wallet we wish to claim to begin the claim process. In order to finish the claim process, we will need to send the specified amount of dragons to Dragon Chain's verification wallet. Once the claim has been verified, it will automatically be added to your account. Before you can start using this wallet, you will need to mark it as your primary wallet. Let's now take a look at creating a level 1 business node, which we will use to run smart contracts. We'll start by clicking on chains. In the sidebar. Next, click Create a Managed Chain. From here, we'll need to give our chain a name. Upon submission, this modal will appear, allowing you to download important information about your chain. At this point, we are just waiting for the chain to finish initializing. After a few minutes, our chain has successfully booted up. Let's create our first contract by clicking the Add Smart Contract button. Your smart contract will need a name, a specified execution order of serial or parallel. You will also need to determine if your contract should run at an interval. This interval may be seconds or a cron expression. The code you wish to run should live in a private or public Docker image hosted on Docker Hub. The command and arguments you wish to run can be specified here. Lastly, we'll click the Add Smart Contract button to finalize the process. At this point, we'll wait a few moments for the smart contract to finish creating. Now that we can see our smart contract has finished creating, let's click on it and click the View Logs button. As we can see, our smart contract is successfully executing our command at the specified interval. If we wish to view older or newer logs, we can do so by clicking the respective button. What if we wanted to edit our smart contract? We can do so by clicking on the contract we wish to edit and clicking the Edit button. Let's go ahead and change the interval we wish our contract to run at. Now, click the Update Smart Contract button. Once the contract updates successfully, we will be redirected to the contract page. Let's go ahead and take a look at the logs one more time. As we can see, our contract is now executing on a 5 second interval. Let's now navigate to the DragonNet tab to take a look at pooling chains and unmanaged chains. Pooling chains are verification nodes managed by DragonChain. Any DragonChain user can apply time to a pooling chain. If a pooling chain participates in verifying a block, all users that have applied time to the pooling chain will share in its payouts based on time applied. Now, let's take a look at unmanaged chains. Using our open source platform, you can run a dragon chain on your own hardware. To get started, let's click the register Unmanage Chain button and give our chain a name. Once you have registered your unmanaged chain, navigate over to the Matchmaking tab to find your chain's ID and matchmaking token. You will need this information in order to participate in DragonNet. Once your unmanaged chain has been set up, you can apply time to it the same way you would any other chain. You can find more information on setting up an unmanaged chain at our docs website, dragonchaincoredocs.dragonchain.com. We hope you enjoy this new console experience.
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.